This is Operation oh, Kingslayer. Listen up. Our field of operation is Bolivia. Dense jungles, freezing mountains, and salt flats. If you don't watch your back, you won't leave it alive. Your target is the Santa Blanca drug cartel. Their network relies on fear, violence, and intimidation. You'll need to destroy them from the inside. Destabilize each aspect of their operations. Production, smuggling, influence, and security to bring them to their knees. You have full autonomy. You pick your targets. You decide how to take them out. Just get it done. Roger that. Gather your intel. Learn who the players are. Learn their methods. Then destroy them. To make this op a real party, the local military force, Unidad, are on the cartel's payroll. They've been fighting it out with a low rent rebel group called the Qataris 26. You want to survive? These underfunded and underequipped rebels are your new best friends. You gotta think. You gotta be strategic. No one will come when you call for help. Use what you can to get the job done. You have your arsenal and every vehicle you can find at your disposal. And don't be afraid to throw out the playbook. Each of you is an elite warfighter, but together you have the strength to take down an army. And remember, ghosts, credit is failure. You will burn the Santa Blanca drug cartel to the ground, but no one will know who was holding the match. Been a little overkill, y'all. Clear on my side. <laughs> oh, what in the hell is this, man? Now I don't feel bad at all. What in the hell is going on here? Why are there tented pits of skeletons here? What in the hell is going on here? What? What in the fuck are y'all doing down here? That's some weird shit, y'all. Oh, okay, I was gonna say archaeological site. A pre-Columbian site studied by archaeologists. All right, all right, all right, all right. I was thought. That <laughs> my bad, my bad. I thought uh, the cartel was up to no good. So uh, turns out that uh, that that's not their fault. My bad, my bad. I think I messed your uh, dozer up here. So um, yeah, just uh, send me the bill. Send it somewhere. I don't know. I'm not gonna pay it. 
I did waste ammo. You guys got any ammo in this base? All right, y'all. No more cartel guarding over you guys. Uh, just uh, carry on. Come on, y'all. You gonna get in or what? Or are y'all just standing around with your dicks in your hands? Get on the fucking thing. There we go. Is that a friggin' plane crash? What is this? Oh man, he crashed bad. What's that right there? That looks like a case or something. Oh, is that like cocaine? I wonder if a bear is gonna find that shit. It's gonna be a cocaine bear up here. There's another one. Chopper, down, down. Where's a fucking chopper? what we came for. This Hummer right here. Oh, it's all fucked up. Uh, I love it. Highway of Carnage. Every time they want to fuck around, they can come and find out. This is what you're going to get. Alright, boys. Let's bail. They don't want to play no more. I'll pilot. We can't wait around forever. Good to go. Come on, get on train tracks. There you go. All right, you know what? I think we should go after this one here because um, I think if we get her, we won't have to listen to her fucking voice anymore on the radio. So this is what I'm thinking. Her Santissima Muerte so loved the Santa Blanca Cartel that she gave us her only begotten daughter, that whoever believeth in her should not perish, but have everlasting life. Many years ago, we were in trouble, in la desesperación, on the verge of extinction, being torn to pieces by the snakes and ratas. I believed that hope was lost, that it was too late for us. Era el fin. But just when I was ready to give up, 
It happened. Nidia Flores came forth, known to us as La Reina de Belleza, the Beauty Queen. And with her, she brought prosperity, wealth, and retribution. We feel her charity, su amor, deep in our hearts. As she continues to spread her gospel across the world, to every corner of the globe, praise to Saint Nidia, Queen of Queens, Reina de Reinas, Goddess among mongrels. Certainly got some nice titties. Nidia Flores was in trouble, and she knew it. It wasn't just the drugs that were being attacked, it was the money, La Bronca. Money that was supposed to have gone to our investors in Mexico, and never made it. What are you gonna do? No excuses, no rationalizations, no nothing. Nidia knew she had to find the solution, before the solution found her. The beauty queen failed. In total, she lost more than 17 billion dollars. Yeah, we hit Nidia that cowboy. She was in danger. She needed more time. She needed someone to blame. She needed to make a sacrifice. I'm so sorry, baby. For you, Mirei. But it wasn't enough. You fucked up, Mirena. <sighs> I gave her a head start. Because I loved La Reina de Belleza. But in Bolivia, love doesn't get you very far. What's his name? He's a doll, Theo. He doesn't have one. You have to be alive to have a name. See, I imagine that's true. Nidia, mi reina. Yes, mi reina. You know this expression. I love you more than life. Claro, of course. I love you, my queen. But not more than life. We've caused so much damage to Nidia Flores' network that El Sueño decided he's better off without her. Extract Flores and her daughter before the Sicarios get to them. Hang on, I'll drive. Fucking big ass wall right here. Man, we tore this place up. Hacienda now. Let's move. Cover, get down. Cover, get to cover. Dude, what's hitting me? Oh, it was a fucking helicopter? Dang, they're hitting hard. Wasn't expecting to get nailed by a helicopter. Hurry up, hurry up, guys, hurry up. There's a fucking vehicle coming. Watch it, it's gonna blow. Hit the dirt. Where the 
fuck is she? Is she upstairs or something? Eyes on Nydia and the daughter. We need them both alive. Mama! Escondete, Valeria! Don't come any closer. Cuidenla! Valeria! Get on that helicopter! Mama! No! You wanna kill me, pendejo? I'm right here. None of you assholes is gonna lay a hand on my daughter. We don't wanna hurt you or your daughter. We want Sueño. You help us, we can protect you. Hold it there. Like I'm gonna Where's trust you. You don't really have a choice. Think you'll survive in the wild on your own? You know Sueño better than anyone. He won't stop till your head is lying at his feet. We are your only chance. I'm not giving up El Sueño. We'll see. Let's take your helicopter. Get in, bitch. All right, everybody, get on board. Sure are a lot of lights and switches up here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, get on. Mistake. You people are gonna fuck me over the first chance you get. I suspect it's up to you. You're the cabrons who turned El Sueño against me in the first place. Yeah, that's Our right. Life was good before you came along. Your life yeah. was a permanent fast forward, and you know it. We didn't make Sueño send people to kill you. We saved you and your daughter. Right. After you destroyed all of it, my life's work, everything I had. Well, not everything. El Jefe is a very big hombre, like uh, a monster truck. I heard he's very tall. You don't like El Jefe. I, I don't like him either. Mija, stop talking. Close your mouth. You don't like El Jefe because he tried to hurt you and your mama? No, I don't like him because he has no hair. Now, there's nothing wrong with not having hair. Maybe he can't help it. Stop talking to her. Coming up on the RP. Oh, Karenia. Whatever happens, just remember that mama loves you. Okay, mama. Gracias, amigos. That money we took from time, the cartel is a time for a black side, bitch. I'm not going to talk. Good. I don't want you to. I want you to listen. I want to tell you a story. Long ago, there was a very beautiful princess named Nydia. And one day, Princess Nydia met a very powerful king named El Sueño. Nydia loved El Sueño. He was like the father she never had. And all Nydia ever wanted was to make him proud of her. Daddy? Nydia was so afraid of letting down Sueño that she even sacrificed the love of her life. The father of her child. All so that Sueño would love her. Daddy? But it wasn't enough. It was never enough. You know nothing. I know one thing. I know that once I sign this, you will be extradited to the United States and you will never, ever see that little girl again. She will go into the foster care system and in five years, she won't even remember who you are. You and I have both been there, Nydia. We both know what it's like. We both know the fucked up shit that goes on in those families. Do you really want Valeria to go through what you did? Who's it gonna be? Valeria? 
or Sueño? I want an S visa. Witness relocation for both of us. And I want full immunity. Trato. Sweetheart, you get me Sueño? I will give you eternal life. <laughs> Boom. Done. Nydia Flores. Hopefully I don't have to listen to that bitch on the radio anymore. Oh my god. It's a great day. It's a great day. Look at that. Captured the beauty queen. Ha <laughs> ha. Done. Oh, I hope I don't got to listen to her ass no mo. Here's a video. Let's see what do we got here. My trafficking network was dismantled. No more cocaine came in. No more money went out. The drugs that remained laid there wrapped in cellophane, rotting away, becoming worthless. My men wondered where their next payout was going to come from. I had spent years building these routes. Billions of dollars in manpower, transportation, relationships, all gone. Gone. Including the beauty queen. I gave Nidia Flores everything. And she paid me back by running like a coward. Instead of dying like royalty. Now she would spend the rest of her life serving the Americans. She killed her child's father for nothing. Isn't it amazing? You remove a few buchones, and the machine falls to pieces. That's right. I removed him. Alright, y'all. I'm gonna end it right here. So... Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give me a like. Please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you all in the next time. Take care. Peace.